Now in your real-time forecast, the National Weather Service confirms there were three tornado touchdowns near the downstate Illinois town of Virginia. This could be one of them. The Cass County Sheriff's Department says there are several reports of damage. There are widespread power outages in the area and tree limbs are down. However, there are no reports of any serious injuries. Rob, nothing severe like that happened and you're heading this way at all, right? No, everything was a little farther to the south. We actually had multiple reports of some funnel clouds, even a few tornadoes like we saw there. All of that stayed to the south because honestly, that's where the warmer temperatures are. That's where we had a little bit more instability. We've been locked in with some cloudiness and some cooler air here, so that has kept things pretty stable. It's kept things a little bit gloomy, but as far as weather goes, it keeps things a little bit more stable. In fact, you can see how the radar looks a little bit more active farther to the south. As far as what to expect, well, temperatures, that's where the warmer air is. They're stuck in the 60s for us, probably going to be stuck in the 60s overnight and the early part of tomorrow. Current temperatures a little closer in. You see it's all upper 60s to mid 60s, depending on where you are. And because the clouds are in place and we still have a bit of a northeast wind, there's not going to be much movement in the temperatures tonight. As far as how much rain has fallen, well, it hasn't amounted to very much. Officially at O'Hare, we're still at 0.09. That's where we were earlier, despite a little bit of drizzle that's been continuing. There were a few spots that picked up a little bit more. Highly variable here in some of the numbers, but even though it rained all day, it just wasn't a lot that amounted in our actual rainfall numbers. I mentioned the northeast winds. They have come down a bit. I'm happy to see that. I think they're going to continue to decrease. They're not going to go calm for tonight. If they were, we'd get a little bit cooler, but these northeast winds off the lake, keeping the atmosphere moving. So we we keep with a nice temperature of 65 for overnight tonight. I'll leave showers in the forecast, but really more of a drizzle or a light rain for some of you. Uh, and then we may pick this back up during the day tomorrow. Low temperatures tonight starting in the 60s. If we can get a little bit of clearing, it's possible that a few locations may be able to get down into the low 60s. But I think 60s for everyone is pretty much going to be key. As far as the forecast goes, watch radar tracker because this will give you an idea of what to expect. Clouds lingering for the entire overnight and early part of tomorrow. A few very light showers. Then as we get into the afternoon, we may see a few of these showers and even a couple of thunderstorms develop. Most of the indications are that this is going to be later in the day, really closer to say the evening commute and even afterwards as we get a couple of little impulses to roll through. Rumble of thunder couldn't be ruled out. Am I expecting anything like what they saw farther to the south? No, I'm not expecting that. Severe weather is not expected really over the next couple of days, but I think the temperatures may be able to warm up a little bit. And even carrying us into Tuesday, we notice a little bit more showing up on our radar tracker here. Rain chances may let up, especially if we can get some breaks in some of these clouds to see some sunshine. But I still think we have to leave rain chances in the forecast for almost every day in our seven day forecast. And that includes tomorrow. A few showers and even a few uh, afternoon thunderstorms. Temperatures a little bit warmer than where they were today. We stayed right around 70 during the afternoon. I think we'll go mid 70s to maybe even upper 70s for some of you. Some of that warmer air trying to sneak in and if it doesn't make it here for tomorrow, I think by the time we get into Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll see the 80s return to our forecast and by Wednesday, that's where we should be for this time of year. Seven day forecast every single day has a chance for rain, but some days more than others. I think the best day is going to be Wednesday. Still a stray storm is going to be possible and we'll be back to those 80s scattered storms return to the forecast and even stay with us through next weekend. Okay, Rob, we'll check back with you later.